Hello everyone, in this video I will teach you everything that you need to know about the perspective tool in Autodesk Sketchbook. You can open the perspective tool by tapping on this icon. In the perspective tool you can choose between the 1, 2 and 3 point perspective. In the 1 point perspective you can rotate the angle of the horizontal line using this icon. To change the placement of the vanishing point, you simply just drag it to the place that you want. You can even place it outside of the canvas. In the two point perspective, you have two vanishing points. You can change the placement of each point separately. In the three point perspective option, you have three points, where two of them are connected to the horizontal line and the third one is placed outside of it. When drawing, the lines will be automatically connected to the vanishing points. In the one point perspective, you can draw perfect vertical and horizontal lines. And in the two-point perspective, you can draw only vertical lines without being connected to the vanishing points. In the three-point perspective, all of the lines will be connected into a point of the three. You can customize the grid by tapping on this icon. In here you can adjust the density of the sections and the opacity of the lines. These settings are mainly for reference, so they will not actually change anything. The constraint grid tool is very helpful. You can move the green dots to make the form you want to draw before you draw it. The amount of dots changes based on the amount of vanishing points you are using. You can also customize the grid to get a better reference. It can take you some time to get the hang of making the reference in your mind, but if you are absolutely lost and don't know how to use the perspective grid, then I recommend you to watch some tutorials about the perspective grid and how it works. Or I can make a tutorial about that if I see that many people want it in the comment section. Anyways, by tapping at this icon, your lines will not be automatically connected to the vanishing points. You might ask that why on earth anyone would use this. But I promise you, this function is more useful than you think. I use it mainly when I want to erase a part of a line without removing the most of it. Because it isn't possible to erase just a small part of a line when this option isn't activated. And when using it, you can also erase in the opposite direction of the lines, which is something that you wouldn't be able to do without it being activated. If you are happy with the placement of the vanishing points, you can lock the placement by tapping at this lock icon. Or you can just hide everything in the perspective grid by tapping at this right here with the automatic connection feature still applied. However, I normally keep the grid visible, but lower its opacity, so that I still see the lines without being bothered of them.
all right guys this was it for the video don't forget to like if you think it was helpful thanks for watching and see you on another video